Hey guys, welcome to Coding After 30. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to become a web developer in 2021, guaranteed in three months or less. Not only will you be able to reach your goals, you will also be able to get that income of making $100,000 every year, guaranteed to start. All right, so if you're interested, this is where I talk about my affiliate links that you could click below to get the next best thing and the best classes in web development ever. Sign up and learn how to make money like head over head forever and ever and ever and I'm not even making this stuff up it's absolutely true and guaranteed so if you stick around I'm going to share with you my five tips of how you're able to get that same success as I have but before you do my name is Paul and on this channel well I'll tell you what I do in this channel after this awesome video All right, guys, tip number one, this is the most important part. You have to watch as much YouTube as possible. Like you cannot not watch enough YouTube. There's so much videos out there that you could watch from other YouTube creators that talk about web development. And most importantly, point on the bottom in the link description below with courses that you could take to get ahead. You know, if you're not watching YouTube videos, how are you ever going to learn web development? I mean, that's almost impossible. And the channels you should be watching are people where they talk about all the cool things they do, about how they learn web development in three months and how they always have a link that you could click and subscribe to. I mean, the best videos to watch are the ones that start how I made $100,000 after learning Python in two weeks. I mean, how can you not be successful? So tip number one, make sure you're watching plenty of YouTube videos. Tip number two, this is by far the second most important tip is when you go on Udemy, if you're not buying 100 courses, at least, at least 100 courses in every possible technology you could find, you will never be a web developer in 2021. It is just impossible to do it any other way. You need to make sure that you're buying so many courses that after every sale that Udemy has, that it will be impossible for you to go through all the courses. Now you're probably wondering, how is that going to help you by just buying courses and not doing the work? I don't know, but I know it works. I heard from a friend of a friend from another friend who totally became a web developer in three months, making 100K for sure knocking out of the park definitely check out the links and the subscription below for the super awesome python course that i don't have but i should have that will tell you to make a lot of money but that's besides the point so tip number two make sure you buy as many udemy courses you can tip number three even more important than anything else is just don't do any coding at all don't sit in front of the computer for hours and hours on trying to build projects for your portfolio building projects for your portfolio is a waste of time i mean they will never really really get you anywhere why would you even do it nobody is ever going to ask you about the projects you made in anything that you do so you don't even need a portfolio all you need to do is just watch youtube buy lots of courses on udemy and not do any actual coding. I mean, 100% it's guaranteed. I've watched so many YouTube videos and I think just by watching YouTube, I'm like, I just have offers coming in in every possible, every day. People just like, listen, we just wanna give you this much money because you only have three months of experience of studying a course on Python and machine learning. I mean, that's like no brainer. So the fourth tip I'm gonna give you is that it is absolutely true that 99.9% .9 of people will become web developers or programmers in three months or less. It To say that it takes longer and you actually have to put real amount of work into it, it's complete nonsense. It's not true. Like, I don't know what you guys been listening or watching, but I just want to tell you that it's easy. Anybody could do it. Like anybody could do it. If you had no experience and you just decided one day, I'm going to become a web developer and I'm going to just do it and become the best. That, I, that It's absolutely true. Like, like it's no brainer. I'm amazed that half the universe is not web developers at this point. And tip number five, which is the most important tip i'm just obviously messing with you guys the truth is web development learning to code or anything else that you decide to learn and become good at takes time one of the biggest things that i get really upset about is that there's so many people online that talk about how easy it is to do things 
And the fact is that it's not. Maybe there's one person or two people who are outliers and somehow were able to accomplish that goal in three months. But after doing a lot of studying and programming and web development, the more I do it, the more I feel like there's stuff that I still don't know and need to get better at. After doing programming for a couple of years now, I just get humbled by getting this feeling that I still have so much to learn. And so the real tip that I'm going to give you guys is not to worry about how quickly or how soon you guys are gonna get your next job, but to focus on creating a system that will allow you to study consistently over time and to reach your goals. The most important thing that you have to understand Programming is such a wide field that it's impossible to learn everything. So if you're trying to learn every possible language, if you're jumping from tech to tech, it's going to be very difficult to get a job. You have to niche down. You have to commit. When it comes to web development, the path that I took was basically committing to learning React.js and getting really good at JavaScript. And when I started, I only focused on the front end. And my goal was to become so good to be able to actually be productive in the technology that I'm learning. Now, there's lots of different paths you could take, but what I'm saying is you could only take one path to be good at, and you have to commit to it wholeheartedly and do the work, put in the effort. So the programming field is very rewarding. You get to work from home. You get to work on your computer. Eventually, you'll be able to commit that high-level income, but at the beginning, like anything else, it takes a lot of work. So I wanted to make this crazy video just to kind of share with you kind of the ridiculousness of what you might find on YouTube and yes it's entertaining and it's fun and it's cool to get caught up in the hype but it's just like those other guys that talk about making money online through e-stores and through drop shipping there's everybody on YouTube making ten thousand dollars a day or whatever it is but for some reason when I try to find those people in real life I can't and it's the same thing with web development and it's no different anything that is worth doing will require work and effort so anyway I want to make this fun video for you try something different don't hate it too much I just wanted to have a little bit of fun and with that being said I hope you guys have happy holidays and happy new year and you you guys who are considering and switching careers or learning to code do not give up the goal but just set realistic expectation knowing that it's going to take hard work and dedication anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time by the way if you liked what i do here on this channel definitely subscribe and let me know in the comments some of the other topics you want me to cover or videos that you want to see if you did not see my last video where i talked about my resume that helped me get a job i'm going to link it in the comments here so you could check it out I feel it's a pretty important video to help you get an idea of what my resume looked like when applying for a job, especially as this is not something I initially started, but I changed careers into web development and definitely might give you some ideas. And also feel free to check out any one of my other videos, if not just for the entertainment purposes. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.